Chemaltech has suffered the humiliating loss of one of their convoys. Destined for the Intaki Bank Depository in the TXWTAC EI system, the convoy security was critically undermined by a prior intelligence leak that exposed its cargo and itinerary. The decision to carry on with an unchanged plan regardless of this leak has now come under heavy scrutiny. From the moment it embarked from the Chemaltech research station in the Orcelard system, the convoy was followed by hundreds of capsuleer ships. Centered around the Ocator class transport ship Daphne, tasked with ferrying vital equipment and science personnel, the convoy also consisted of a small contingent of escort ships. Potentially overestimating their defensive capabilities or misinterpreting the intentions of the surrounding capsuleer ships, the convoy started its voyage. The uneventful passage through the initial systems might have bolstered their confidence, but as soon as the convoy left the relative safety of Empire Space and jumped into low sec, the convoy came under attack. Chased through low sec by vastly superior forces, the convoy desperately broadcast pleas for support. Needless to say, the convoy's desperate calls for help did not result in their salvation, and within minutes, the outnumbered and outgunned Chemaltech ships were destroyed one by one. Surviving Chemaltech geneticists captured by members of the Fraternity Alliance have been threatened with execution if demands made by Fraternity are not met. Following this statement, Chemaltech has announced the reward of 1 billion ISK for the safe return of each geneticist, emphasizing their commitment to the welfare and safety of their staff. In recent days, Chemaltech has been plagued by a series of data leaks, including sensitive information recovered from the wrecks of the destroyed convoy. These data fragments have been pieced together by capsuleers, revealing ties to a secretive cloning project run by the Upwell Consortium, of which both Chemaltech and the Intaki Bank are members. The specifics of this cloning initiative remain unclear, with Upwell Consortium maintaining silence on the subject. However, the recovered data suggests the project is a feasibility study for a cloning operation of considerable scale. The intended purpose of these clones is the subject of wide speculation. Some observers suggest they might be being developed as a counter to the recent deployment of Vanguard clones by the Deathless, while others speculate that they could form a new workforce or even represent a breakthrough in capsular cloning technology. As this story unfolds, the scope promises to deliver ongoing coverage of these developments. This is Alton Havery reporting for the scope.